It's quite annoying. You can see it. We can't, uh, you know, click on it. Uh, it's kind of blocking our clicking and it's quite annoying. So let's remove it. So start task manager, right click windows icon and select the task manager. You might need to use the arrow keys if it's blocking you. You can also hold control shift escape. Inside of here, you will scroll down until you find the search section. Expand that. Inside here, you find the mini search host.exe. And that task and your annoying little floating box should instantly disappear. Fantastic. For some people, it helps to restart Windows Explorer. So if it didn't fix it, uh, right click on Windows Explorer and click restart. And it should indeed fix your problem. Alright, so now we have temporarily fixed this problem. That's quite amazing. But how do we remove this permanently if it comes up a lot of the times? Well, right click this mini search host.exe and click open file location. You will get into Windows system apps and uh, Microsoft Windows client. Inside here, copy the mini search host.exe and then you will paste it in. You will need to be an admin to do this. Now we'll rename this copy something like uh, the name of the file and old backup if we need to revert this in case it breaks something in the future. It hasn't done for me so far, but if it does, we can revert it. Here we have the mini search host.exe. And here we have the search host.exe. Copy the search host.exe and paste it in there so we'll make a copy of this. What we're going to do is trick Windows that the mini search host uh, basically don't exist. So go into mini search host.exe and rename it or click F2 to rename it. Then you will copy the entire name mini search host.exe. If the problem has come back for you, well, open task manager again and the mini search host.exe should be running. So you will need to kill that process like we did earlier in order to remove it. Now we'll right click on it and click remove. We actually throw this away. We already have a backup. Now go to search host.exe, well, the copy actually, and just paste over the mini search host.exe name we copied before. Paste it in there and there we have the search host.exe is now in two versions, but one is called mini search host.exe. And this basically does that Windows won't be able to run the mini search host.exe and you will be able to not have those issues. Hope this little tutorial helped you to solve your issue. And if it did solve your issue, then you should definitely leave a like and keep tuned for future tech tutorials. This has been your host, Jim Edism, and we're signing out.